Hello everyone, it's Suzanne Skye, and I know it's been a while since I, oh, sweat, uh, since I've uh, posted a video, but I just haven't uh, felt well enough to do it, and uh, I haven't felt well enough to go to the food bank for a couple months, I guess it's been, I'm not really sure how long. We have two, uh, food distributions a month in our uh, county and they're about 10 12 miles away so uh, sometimes I just can't get up early early and drive there and wait and wait and wait and then uh, oh somebody's texting me <laughs> okay and uh, but I made it a point to finally go this time because we were uh, getting lower on pantry items and everything and so anyway this is the food distribution things I got today first of all let's see Alaska pollock fillet portion and bread so it says it's got eight eight pieces in it and oh we like fish and they're healthy, so we'll definitely use them. And we love uh, pork chops too, so those will get used. That's four of them, boneless. And um, anyway, that's what we got for the protein today, for the meat, uh, meat and fish rather. And let's see, oh, I'm gonna have to move this. Let's see. Get this down here. Maybe I wouldn't have to move it so much, but then in this box, got russet potatoes, Idaho potatoes, it says. And, uh, you know, those can be used so many ways. And I was hoping today for two things, and one of them was apples. And that's one of the things we got was a bag of apples. These are, I think they're Gala. I'm probably wrong, Fuji. They're Fuji apples. So I'm gonna be happy because I usually eat one every day. We've got them and we haven't had them for a while. And let's see, in this one, boxes of spaghetti. Always use pasta of any kind. Pinto beans, which is something I've been hungry for for a while and I haven't, uh, haven't cooked any. So this is South Texas and it's our favorite beans, pintos. And then there's yellow split peas. Uh, not as crazy about these, but we will use them. They aren't going to go to waste, for sure. Two bags of rice, so two pounds each. And we do use a lot of rice. I like stir fries with them. Here's the other thing I was hoping for today to go with the apples, peanut butter. I love apples and peanut butter and that's what I have every day when we've got them. Just cut the apples up into fourths or sometimes just halves and uh, take the center out and then get a spoon and like spread uh, peanut butter all over the inside part and it's very good something sweet that's not sugary and then what low sodium low sodium traditional pasta sauce and dice uh, no salt added diced potatoes or tomatoes gosh i'm getting mixed up now i'm getting all in my head here um let's see. 
hope I'm talking loud enough where you can hear me. I did buy a microphone, but I can't figure out how to work it yet. So, and I haven't had time really to sit down with it and <laughs> figure it out. So, and I got uh, garbanzo beans, chickpeas, two of those. So everything here will get used. Always really happy with what we get. And then this is the produce box. How many of these? We've got these beautiful orange bell peppers. You see, I think two more in there. Yeah. So four of those. And I would like to cut them in half and stuff them with like a meatloaf mixture. I love that. But um, I don't know if I'll get it done, so I may just uh, cut these up and freeze them and use them with the, the noodles and spaghetti sauce and some beef or something. And what else? This, I'm not sure. It'll, to me, it looks like a really big eggplant. But the color is weird, kind of brown. And it's got this kind of stem area, like an eggplant. And it's heavy, it's really heavy. So I don't know, it must, it could be another um, uh, Central American fruit or something. Oh, let's see if it's got a tag on it or a label. No, it doesn't. So I don't know if some of y'all know what this is. Let me know, because it's awfully heavy and hard, too. Not like it, not so much like an eggplant, but that's the closest thing to, that I can think of that it looks like. And these, we get these quite often. Papayas. And two. Three, and I reach in here, four, and then we've got two heads of iceberg lettuce. So I see salads in the future. And the last thing, I think I might have to stand up to get it. And a small watermelon. It says pure heart, mini watermelon, mini melon. Okay. And I'll probably just cut it up in chunks and keep it in uh, plastic wear so that we can just get a bowl <clears throat> that way. Anyway, um, I'm going to move outside now and make a transition so I can just sit and talk for a while. I was going to show you around the yard a little bit because uh, I needed to fill the animals watering troughs and watering pans and things like that but I don't think I'll film that today it's just too hard for me so let's go outside while this is swinging around I'm using a different tripod an old one Let's see. Oh. Okay, I sure miss my porch swing, I tell you. Let me move this closer. See if I can get this on the other tripod without messing things up here. 